You said you wanted answers. What answers do you want? What happened? I have? would I would like I would like the answers to settle the accusations. Being the husband of a missing wife is uh, not an enviable place to be. And what are the I'm It doesn't sorry. take long for people to uh, to start accusing you of all kinds of things. And over time the accusations just get more imaginative and crazy. You talk about accusations, and I, I'm sure that there have been many, including people accusing you mm -hmm. of harming your wife, yes. perhaps killing your wife. Mm -hmm. Did you kill your wife? Did you do anything to harm I, your no. wife or to cause your wife's death? No, absolutely not. Uh, Lynn and I have had a very loving and abiding marriage and relationship. She loved our life, so did I. I think that's what's made all this so hard. It's what made the grieving process so difficult is to lose that. And uh, it's been 28 months. And uh, it's, it's hard to find the right words to explain it. And it doesn't help that uh, eventually, uh, I can't explain myself, but I have found myself being attracted to someone who's been uh, very helpful and who's been very supportive through the process. And, uh, and so we've ended up being accused of being in an affair and, and that uh, that's the reason why Lynn is gone and all this kind of stuff. And, those accusations just keep spinning more and more out of control. I can't do anything about it, but there's no evidence to back any of it up. It's just not true. Law enforcement uh, went through all five of our laptop computers. They went through all of our electronics. They went through all of our history. They've interviewed everybody that needs to be interviewed. I've had over 50, excuse me, I've had over 40, I don't know exactly, but well over 40, uh, exchanges with law enforcement myself for the first 10 months and yet now I find out I'm being accused of being uncooperative with law enforcement um, they never found anything about any affair with anybody because there was nothing there I, I am not sweating over what they found with Lynn's body or her remains because I know there's no evidence that, that implicates me I don't believe there's anything that implicates my sons I want to know what happened. They've been very, I suppose, cautious not to say a word about anything. I, I have no idea. Um, it was obviously a, a small pillow and uh, some type of a small blanket light blanket that, or fleece that she had with her. Uh, I had no idea. I have no idea what kind of clothing they may have found because I still don't know what she may have put on when, when she left. And, you know, I, I have no concept of what, what that's going to be. Um, but when my son described the remains of a shredded pillow that uh, that he saw, the, the type of handmade uh, pillowcase that was on it, uh, I immediately recognized what he was describing. I've I've got the the match to it sitting in there in the dining room with all the other stuff related to our search for Lynn. I went and got it the other day, so I could ask my son if, if that was you know for sure what he think he thinks he saw. Was it? Uh, he was hesitant to, to because there's been deterioration stuff sitting out in the weather and, and he didn't really want to talk about it so I left him alone but it, but it is what he described to me that night on the phone <laughs>